Hey everyone, Tannen Teston with the Teston team here in Orlando, Florida. One question we get asked a lot by our buyers when they're going to put an offer in on a home that they like is they always ask, what are the comps, right? They want to know that they are going to be paying a fair market value for the home that they're putting their offer in on. So it's a valid question. And yes, we do want to look at what the comparable properties are. Comparable properties are typically a home that was within maybe 200 to 300 square feet of the property. And we're also looking at age of the home. So plus or minus about 10 years. That would be a comparable property for most homes. But what we do when we're comparing properties that have sold, we also, more importantly, want to look at what properties are pending. We want to see what's going to happen in the future that could affect the property that we're going to put an offer in on. So things that we look at for pending properties are how long were they on the market for? When are they going to close? And then we also check out what are the realtor notes? Because if we see a note that says multiple offers are in, highest and best by this date, then we know more than likely that home is going to close for higher than what the actual list price is. And that will now be the new pace setter for that neighborhood. So we look at multiple different things, but definitely looking at what the pending properties are gonna do, especially if they're gonna be closing within two weeks from the date we put our offer in, because we know that property will now have closed and be the pace setter. So looking at those things, that can better prepare our buyers for that peace of mind that the aggressive offer that they're putting on may be over list price, but it's still within a fair market range and it gives that buyer the peace of mind in putting that offer in. Hope that helps. Make sure you ask your realtor, are you looking at the sold comparables or the pending comparables or a combination of the two? That's your tip for the day.